Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we will be going over how to make your own distressed images and fonts. You don't necessarily have to go looking for a distressed font when you can make one yourself. First thing you're going to want to do is find a distressed or textured image. You can do this by going to Google or a website like freepix.com or even Fiverr and finding one. I like to look for black and white images only because they're easier to trace in the program. So I've gone ahead and found one that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to bring it into the program here really quick for you and make it larger. And I want it to be able to cover the image so that I don't have to change it. Now, please keep in mind that when you are tracing something that has so many cuts as this distressed image does, it will take longer to trace. I had a person comment the other day that they tried tracing a real life image and the program kept freezing and she was blaming the program and silhouette for not making a good program. The problem is, is her picture was very busy. She had a lot of people, a lot of background noise, meaning like trees and cars and fence lines. All this is going to make the program take a lot longer to think and make all the proper cut lines. It's not the program itself, it's the imaging that you use. If you want to take pictures of real life family members and trace them, it's always best to Photoshop out all the background that you do not need so that it does not take a lot of time to trace. Okay, on to tracing. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and select the trace area. And again, because this is a distressed image, it doesn't have to be a perfect trace. You can push the threshold up here and make your cuts uh, a little deeper. Like there are darker lines in here that aren't as dark as the black image that you see all in yellow right now. So I could push the threshold up, but I want this to be distressed so I'm not going to and just hit trace and as you can see it's taking a little longer than it typically would just because of how much thinking it has to do now we don't need that image so I'm going to delete it I also like to put my images in color so that I get a better idea of how they will look so I'm just gonna make this one white because I've already made the image and the letters black and then I'll just drag that over now, two things you want to do is you want to make sure that this distressed image is on top. So you do that by clicking it, then hitting the right click button and hitting bring to front and make sure it's there. Now we can see where the cuts will be or the distressed look will be and you can change where your image is sitting, where your font is sitting or the image on top. You can pull it, stretch it, move it up and down however you need. Now when you go to cut it out of the letters, it's going to take a long time for the program to think again because this is a lot of cut lines, a lot of work, a lot of busyness. So to save on time, I've already gone ahead and did it. So what you would do is highlight everything. You would go to your modify panel. You can hit subtract and this will actually delete everything that's on top. The reason I don't hit subtract is for whatever reason, the program does take a little extra longer than the extra long it's already going to take. So I hit subtract all instead, and then I just delete what I don't need. So I've already gone ahead and hit subtract all. It did take this one about 15 minutes to go through and make the distressed image. So I'm going to now delete the top. And as you can see, it cut out of the kangaroo and the word kangaroo wherever I had it laying on top. And if I make the cut lines, there it's a little easier to see and I'll zoom in for you. So there's how you would do that. Now also keep in mind if you're cutting this out small it's going to be a really pain in the butt to weed. You might have to reverse weed. Um, just make sure, you know, you take into account all of those things when you're making it. But that's how you would make your own distress font or your own distress image so you don't have to go hunting and looking or pull out some sandpaper and hit the vinyl with it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have ideas of other videos I should be making, please let me know about those too. I really enjoy your input. As always, guys, happy crafting. See you later.